good evening everyone and welcome to another video and this is a bit of a reaction to the video that has gone viral from here in Tenerife as regards to uh, the football fans in Las Americas uh, last night. I'm going to talk about it, uh, discuss it and also defend Tenerife a little bit as well and talk about how we, they haven't handled it very well at all and give you my opinions on it. So if you are new to the channel, I am Andrew. I do live here in Tenerife and Los Cristianos. We do videos every single day, live streams, restaurants, little bits of Veronica's, absolutely all kinds. So a big welcome to the channel. If you are looking for videos on Tenerife, do check out the videos I've got on the channel because that is the real Tenerife. If you've seen the video that's gone viral, that is not the real Tenerife. I'm gonna jump in and discuss it right now. So unfortunately this video has gone viral. Many people sent it to me this morning. I've had many messages from uh, lovely subscribers, even just normal friends back home. have sent me links to the video, links to the news articles saying, uh, are you okay? Things like that. And the problem is people just see this video and they think that's Tenerife. Let me firstly start by saying that where the incident has happened with these football fans fighting uh, down in Las Americas in Veronica's, is very very isolated it's a very small part of a town in south tenerife it does not reflect the island and what it represents what we've got here uh, so unfortunately i believe these videos are going to do it's a bit of damage to tenerife unfortunately and their tourism industry because people see these videos and think oh i'm not going there look at that madness um so i'm going to start by going through one of the articles that has um shown what has gone on and discussed it. I'm going to try and include some clips as well as I discuss uh, the article that I'm going to read to you. Uh, so the title goes, uh, England and Wales hooligans uh, fight each other in terrifying Tenerife brawl featuring flying chairs, kicks and punches uh, as others sit by and film the action. So a pretty detrimental title to start with. Uh, mayhem ensued in Tenerife last night as England and Wales fans clashed in a violent brawl after thousands travelled to uh, the Spanish resort uh, to watch the World Cup. Dozens of hooligans aggressively punched, kicked, threw chairs at each other uh, in a violent fight on the Veronica Strip in Playa de las Americas. Uh, shocking footage shared on Twitter shows a group of young men, uh, many not wearing shirts, getting into brutal altercations with a number of older looking men while dozens of spectators watched on and recorded on their phones. So pretty grim action. The main problem here is with the video, it goes on for quite a while. A lot of people have filmed it. The problem is there is zero police, zero security, and that's what has raised a lot of questions. Everyone is messaging me saying, where's the police presence? Why didn't the police go? I feel a little bit sorry for any of the bars in that area, the clubs, because they don't ask for this trouble. They want people to come, enjoy the football, have some beers, have some cocktails, have a bit of a dance and go home. But they do get dragged into all of this bad publicity. I go to a few of the bars on there sometimes on the channel. If you've watched for a while, you know we do. We see it and we have a little look down and we know people get drunk and things, but they don't really ask for any of this. But unfortunately, it's the modern day with so many people filming it it's a big worry the fact that no police attended there was no sort of authority there at all it was just like a free-for-all it was almost like they were left just to sort of fight it out and the end it fizzled out the police didn't even arrive the fight just sort of fizzled out and nothing was really done and that's the worrying part that's what people do not like and are not liking uh, about the footage is that there is no authority no police attended and it's quite worrying, especially as Wales and England haven't even played yet. So I certainly do hope that after seeing this, they get some people down there on Veronica's to keep an eye on things and what's going on, especially when we play each other. There's going to be alcohol flowing. I think it's an evening game. People are going to be drinking all day. Emotions run high. Alcohol takes over and these things happen. But from a Tenerife standpoint, really not good looking from them the fact that no police attended this video has gone absolutely everywhere and you can see by the way they the you know the way the media is the way they're talking about it it really does not make Tenerife look very good at all 
Uh, lots of the men can be seen uh, sporting England and Wales football shirts while another drops his iconic Wales bucket hat and gets punched in the face after throwing a wooden chair. Uh, this video has more than 200,000 views. Um, that was about five hours ago, so it'll have a lot more than that. It lasts nearly two minutes uh, before the scene appears to calm down. Appears to calm down, not because of any police presence. Two minutes it went on for. Uh, people on Twitter described the brawl as embarrassing and pointed out the calmer scenes in Doha where alcohol has been banned from the stadiums. Uh, one man said, what a terrible advert for British football. Grown men fighting over the result of 22 men kicking a ball around on a patch of grass. Uh, another added, uh, why do we always embarrass ourselves abroad? Uh, are other Europeans acting like this in their holiday resorts? But what I want to say is, I mean, it, it doesn't look good for Tenerife at all. It's not a great advert for us, unfortunately. But I want to remind everyone, this is the real Tenerife right here. I'm stood on a little, little rock here filming a video. I've got sunshine, 27 degrees, ocean. I've got this uh, lovely... Uh, business here setting up a wedding pavilion for a little wedding that's going to happen on the beach with a lovely picnic I've got kayaks out behind me I've got someone doing on the paddleboard there I've got boat trips whale and dolphin excursions please do not see this video as Tenerife it's a very small strip in town it is you know it's a choice to go there you know it's an acquired taste if you're into that you're looking for it there's a market for it nightclubs and things if you want to avoid this you can don't feel like you're going to come on holiday and be dragged into things like this if you choose to go down there you can have a great time as i said there's great bars down there just at the moment with all the football going on you know there was bound to be a little bit of trouble but please don't let it put you off coming to tenerife don't be worried about people over in tenerife these are just tourists you know fighting out over alcohol and football results it's not the best advert it isn't great that the police didn't attend even if they just came in a couple of vans would have looked a lot better on the video i think the fact that they've just been left to do what they want to do is quite worrying and anyone watching that who loves all this trouble and action will think well i can go down there no no police are going to turn up i can you know have all these brawls and you know there's no authority down there nothing's going to happen so it's not the best advert, unfortunately. I did hope it wasn't going to go as viral as it did, but it did, unfortunately. But I'm going to defend Tenerife a little bit. If you want to see the true Tenerife, go and look. I've got 800 videos on the channel, and there are loads of true Tenerife videos, live streams, restaurants, promenades. Uh, my family are over at the moment with uh, my little baby nephew, and we're having a great time. Absolutely fantastic. We stayed away from Veronica's. We've stayed away from some of the busier bars that, you know, have the football on and people are going to be drinking like mad. We've avoided it all. We watched the England game in a restaurant. So you can stay away from it all. And please don't see this and think that's Tenerife because it's really, really not. I'm sure a lot of you will help me out in the comments here and tell everyone how this little two minute video does not represent Tenerife. Uh, it's unfortunate. I do wish the police had maybe attended or, and then people are messaging me saying, well, you know, if the Spanish were down there, if that was Spain uh, fans fighting with England fans, the police would have been down there. I'm not going to get into any of that discussion. It was a shame the police didn't attend. I don't know why it took so long. There should always be some police fans down there. They know what it's like. They know what football fans are like. They knew it was going to happen. And I really do hope that they address the situation and get some police presence down there the next few nights, especially when the England and Wales game is on. I think they need to do that just to show that they're taking it serious because it, you've got a seriously bad advert floating around for Tenerife right now. But that is not true Tenerife. If you want to avoid it, you can do. Just be careful. If you're going to go down there, stay away from any of the trouble. If you see trouble going on, just walk away. You can still have a great time. As I said, there's fantastic bars and uh, nightclubs down there that don't ask for any of this trouble. They're just trying to provide people with a good night out. There's a market for it. People come for stag do's, hen do's and all of that. Uh, I've got nothing against any of that. Uh, but unfortunately, there needed to be a bit of authority there in my opinion. Please do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about it all. Unfortunately, alcohol, sunshine, it happens. Emotions run high. In my opinion, we should have been a little bit more prepared or I would have definitely liked to have seen the, the police come onto the scene at some point during the video, but they don't, uh, which isn't the best image. But these things happen. It will go away. And as I said, it's not true Tenerife. 
this is through Tenerife right here and you want to check out the other videos on the channel uh, to see everything else that's going on. If you are new here, do consider subscribing. I do have news updates every single week. I will jump on and do any little videos like this as well um, and also restaurant reviews, excursions, etc. So do consider subscribing. Let me know your thoughts, give a thumbs up and if you are coming out for the World Cup, enjoy it, stay safe, avoid any trouble and have a great time. Let me know your thoughts and uh, stride on.